Hello everyone. In this session, we'll see a problem on radius of curvature for a Cartesian curve. So, this is the given question where the curve y equal to ax by a plus x is given. Let us say that rho is the radius of curvature. So, at any point x, y, we have to show that 2 rho by a to the power of 2 by 3 is y by x whole square plus x by y whole square. Now as we know that radius of curvature rho is given by 1 plus y1 square whole to the power of 3 by 2 divided by y2 where y1 is the first derivative of y with respect to x and y2 is the second derivative. Now looking into the equation or the function we have got y equal to ax by a plus x therefore from here we can actually find the first and second derivative of y with respect to x. So y1 which is dy by dx will be actually by quotient rule a times of a plus x minus 1 times of ax by a plus x whole square. So this is going to be ax and minus x cancelled so a square by a plus x whole square which we can say this as a by a plus x whole square. Now with the relation y equal to a by a plus x times of x, we can see here that from here y by x is actually a by a plus x. Therefore we can say that this dy by dx is actually nothing but y by x whole square. Similarly Second derivative y2 that is d2y by dx square will be actually differentiation of a square by a plus x whole square with respect to x. Now this a square is actually just a constant. So a square a plus x whole to the power of 2 in the denominator means it is a plus x whole to the power of minus 2. So the differentiation will be minus 2 a plus x whole to the power of minus 3 which we can write this as minus 2 a square by a plus x cube. Now again we will try to rearrange this y2 as minus 2 by a times of a cube by a plus x whole cube. So again we can put a by a plus x as y by x so this becomes minus 2 by a times of y by x cube. Now from these two results that is 1 which is dy by dx second which is d2y by dx y1 and v2. So let us use this equation 1 and 2 in the equation of rho that is 1 plus y1 square whole to the power of 3 by 2 divided by y2. So in this case we should get rho equal to 1 plus y1 square is going to be y by x whole to the power of 4 to the power of 3 by 2 divided by now this y2 which is minus 2 by a times of y by x cube. So let's do one thing take this constant on the other side and we can write this as minus of 2 rho by a equal to 1 plus y by x to the power of 4 whole to the power of 3 by 2 divided by y by x cube. So if we take cube root on both the sides we will have minus 2 rho by a to the power of 1 by 3 equal to 1 plus y by x to the power of 4 divided by y by x and if we square on both the sides we will have 2 rho by a to the power of 2 by 3 we can nullify the negative sign the right side will be 1 plus this already has 1 by root 2 so 
1 plus y by x to the power of 4 as we are taking square on both the sides and the denominator will become y by x square so a little rearrangement will make this as 1 plus y by x to the power of 4 times of x by y square and therefore we can split this as 2 rho by a to the power of 2 by 3 equal to splitting this will have x by y square and y by x to the power of 4 times of x by y to the power of square 2 will actually result as y by x square this is because this is y by x to the power of 4 so we can consider x by y to the power of 2 as y by x to the power of minus 2 rather so with this result this is what we had to prove so hence it is proved thank you